Ready? All right, welcome to this week's edition of the Outdoor Call Radio with Outdoors Dan. I hope everyone's having a great Saturday all across the good old U.S. of A. Andrew and I are in studio, and uh, we're going to be talking with you for the next two hours. we got a lot to do because it's turkey camp week, I'm telling you. we got a fun show for you. Better be ready because we're going to be talking a bunch of BS this morning. Barbecue sauce, that is. Got Speed from Cookies Barbecue Sauce coming up first, and then we'll have Dave Bloom. We're going to talk a little bit about 410s and uh, what's going on with the new law. I've had a lot of people confused about that, so we're going to clear that up this morning. In between there, we got a Sportsman's Warehouse fishing report for you. We're going to give away a trivia deal, and uh, no smoking Joe today because he's on vacation. So we're going to we're going to give you all your smoking do- Joe, Dojo, Dojo Joe. Uh, info for you as much as we can. Hey, the uh, show is brought to you in part by our good friends out at uh, Three Rivers Boat and RV Storage. Good morning, Michael Waters. How are you on Facebook Live there? Good to see you. If you are in need of a storage facility, um, I would recommend you go to where I go, and that's over there in Carlisle, right down the street from Wyckoff, and that's Three Rivers Boat and RV Storage. Good spots. Uh, you get a 12-foot by 50-feet long assigned spot. You pick it out. Your secure gates are 24-7. You can get in and out when you want. They've got security cameras up on all the lots. You get a discount if you get multiple spots. You can just fill out an, uh, make an appointment, fill out an application, and find your spot. And, hey, if you pay up for the whole year, you get one month free. So you get 60 bucks off right there. If you want more information about Three Rivers Boat and RV Storage, you just give Tracy, Dick, or Danielle a call at 515-822-1362, and they will take great care of you. All right, let's see. I think I got, uh, we'll have uh, no mailbag this week. I didn't get any mail this week. How about that? Yeah, uh, you know, I always like hearing the mail. Yeah, that's always a good segment. Uh, Let's see. uh, We got a new show on the Outdoor Call Radio Network. I'll try and tell you about that before we get out of here. But I think we got the man, the myth, the legend on the line. So let's go say hi to Mr. Speed. How you doing, bud? Well, good morning. How you doing, Dan? Well, I'm good. Did you did you get tired of uh, Andrew? Turn my headphones up just a hair. Will you turn my headphones up just a hair? Yeah. And say say something, Speed. What's that? There you go. Did you did you get tired of cooking in Arizona with all the nice people? Did you you finally came back home to your buddies? Well, I come back home here to uh, to enjoy some of the fresh air. It was uh, it was nice, but I'll tell you what. Uh, uh, I'm really fortunate to have great neighbors and. Uh, I met so many people out there in Arizona. It's just unreal. I want to know how you get out there in the winter and people bring you food all the time. I mean, you got it made, man. Well, I, I tell you what, it's uh, it's great. Uh, I uh, it was really neat. The one day I got in there, it was I don't know uh, three o'clock in the afternoon, and I didn't hardly get in the house. And I got a text from uh, the couple across the street. Uh, now, Speed, we know you haven't had time to cook anything, so just come over here for the evening meal tonight. You see, know? see, here's what here's what Speed did when he first moved out there and got them all set up. He started cooking uh, pork butts and ribs and everything, and you could smell it for like miles. So in- instantaneously, people have uh, adopted him. So yeah, I, I know how you did it, Speed. Well, it, it was kind of neat. We were. Uh, <laughs> I I told my neighbor. I said. Uh, uh, you know, let's kind of have a little block party here and, and uh, you know, so everybody gets to know everybody. And, oh, gee, that'd be great. And he said, we never did that. And uh, so it started out, he said, uh, how many people? I said, well, I said, I've got about 10 people that, you know, that I'm connected with out here that, uh, that live in the, right in the same housing area. I said, uh, well, he said, there'll be about probably 15 neighbors. He said, can you handle feeding 25 people? I said, oh, yeah, that's no biggie. Yeah. And uh, and by the time the uh, party come around, we ended up uh, 71 people. Yeah, I believe it, man. You start cooking that stuff. Good morning, Tony. Good to see you. Uh, we got a bunch of people watching us on Facebook Live, Speedy. Uh, good. Mountain Man, good morning out there in Pennsylvania. He loves cookies. Uh, Matthew, good to see you. I'll, I'll see you next week in Pennsylvania, Ma- Matthew, out the Chico Outdoor Show. Appreciate that. Parker, good morning. So um, I wanted to get you on. Turkey season is going to start for the kids next week, uh, youth season, um, and then we're going to – everybody else will be going after that. I'm actually leaving to go hunt Kansas here uh, in a couple hours. And, uh, you know, I thought it would be good to talk 
get you on here and talk a couple little turkey recipes. But before I do that, um, I, I, are you going out? You got a rib wagon thing you're doing today too, aren't you? Uh, uh, yeah. Well, we're finished loading today. We head out uh, next week for our first rib wagon event. It's a, a private event. Uh, uh, we've got uh, it's a uh, food service company. We do uh, we every year when they have their show. We do uh, breakfast uh, for about three hundred people uh, each morning. Wow. And uh, uh, that makes me get up before breakfast because I've got to get up there so I can cook my own breakfast. But uh, but it's, it's a fun time. Get to meet a lot of people at a show, and uh, uh, we'll run them through. We'll usually do hash browns and uh, biscuits and gravy and scrambled eggs and bacon and uh, sausage. And so it's uh, a pretty nice feed and, uh, and a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, it's always fun when you're out there. And then we start out, uh, then the next the next week right after that, then we go to the uh, IV store up on Hamilton Boulevard in Sioux City. We're there Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and then we'll be doing our uh, traditional ribs, pulled pork, you know, the whole uh, the whole gamut up there. And then uh, then we're pretty well, uh, pretty well booked until uh, I think our last event is uh, 28th of October. Well, there you go. Good morning, Jay. I'll be gainfully employed. Yeah, well, you're always employed. You're always working. Good morning, Jay. Good to see you. Neil Sanders, good morning. Neil Sanders said, tell you hi, Speed. Well, Dad, tell him hi. You, you just, hi for the sauce, man. Yeah, you did. You just told him that. So, All right, so when we get our turkeys this year, you know, there's several ways. I like to, I like to roll them in flour and uh, cookies flavor enhancer and then uh, put a little uh, egg wash before that and then dip them in that yep. mix. And then put them in that hot canola oil about 350, and let them let them sink down there until they float up nice and golden brown. But there's a couple other health, you know, there's a couple other ways that uh, you can do wild turkey. One of them is if you've never had a wild turkey shredded or uh, wild shredded turkey breast sandwich, and put a little buffalo uh, flavor on it. If you like if you like buffalo wings, you're gonna love. Uh, shredded turkey sandwiches with uh, cookies, wings, and things, hot sauce. And how many times have you done that, Speedy? Oh, I don't, I'd hate to guess. It's, uh, <laughs> but I like to just, you know, just cook that breast up. And then, uh, uh, and the reason I like to shred it, you know, you can take just a couple of forks or whatever you want to use, or, or you can just take and chop it up too. It don't make any difference with a cleaver or a sharp knife. But uh, just get that thing up there and, and uh, then flavor enhancer, and then, uh, uh, you know, just shoot some wings and things on it, stir that through, and put that, i tell you what, on a nice, fresh, like a hokey bun. And uh, once in a while, I'll put just shred just a little bit of mozzarella cheese in with it, too, and uh, and just let that melt in. And my mouth's watering just thinking about it. Yeah. Uh, well, that's geez, I'll tell you, those are good that way. And then the other thing I do, uh, too, I've... Uh, I did it in a stir fry, and uh, you know, just uh, take. You can either if you got some, if you got some of the leftover shredded, it's already cooked, or just uh, dice up uh, the turkey meat raw and uh, throw a little sesame oil in a wok or even in a frying pan. Don't make any difference, and just cook it until it's just done, and then uh, uh, get a bag of uh, like frozen mixed vegetables uh-huh. and just. Put a little bit of water on and steam them through good just to where they get, I like a little crunch in them yet, and uh, mix the turkey uh, breast meat in that you've got shredded up, cooked up, mix that all together, and then uh, dump some of our Korean sauce on it and uh, stir that through there real good, and then serve it over, you know, cook up some rice and uh, dump that all on top of rice. I'll tell you, with our cookies, Korean barbecue sauce on there, that is to die for yeah, you need to put on there uh, stir fry in a bottle. Now there you go. And that's what it is. I mean, that's just uh, you don't need to add anything else. Everything, everything's all in the bottle. There, just I like to fry the meat in sesame oil. I think it gives a little added flavor. Uh-huh. But if you don't have sesame oil, I've already done it in canola oil. Yeah, but uh, just, you... just cook it up and. Uh, uh, but I I always put the uh, put the Korean sauce. I get the vegetables steamed, the meat done. Then I put it over into a separate bowl and dump the Korean sauce on and stir it through in that. Because uh, uh, any of that, you know, it's got some sugar in it. Uh, you and I are sweet enough without it. But they still, uh, 
<laughs> got a little bit of sugar in it, and uh, it makes it hard to clean out of the hot wok. So I just put it in another bowl and stir it up and then dump it on the rice. Yeah. And the nice thing about it, you know, if, if you're serving a, a group, uh, get it stir fried up like that and just put it in a crock pot on low and then let people come through as they as they want to eat it. Yeah. I, I, I tell you what, I got the, I my son, my 21-year-old son, Good morning, Robin. Good morning, Gary Peck, up in Minnesota. Good to see you, bud. My my son called, came over the other day. He goes, Dad, uh, um, what do you got? Uh, I want to make some stir fries. I said, Well, go out there and get you some of that cookies Korean barbecue sauce I got in the in the prize locker out there. And uh, he goes, What's that? And I said, What do you? How do you not know what that is? So anyway, he <laughs> he goes uh, he goes out there, and I don't have any out there. I used it all, so I got to call Jody. But uh, uh, he goes, so he went to the store and he bought some. So there you go, Speed. He actually was a paying customer. And okay. and I get a call from him, Dad, I want to thank you. That was the easiest thing I've ever done in my life, and it's amazing. He made a beef and broccoli stir fry uh, with white rice and stuff at, at his apartment. And I'm, I'm so proud of him, Speed. You betcha. Yeah, I'll tell you what, they can, uh, they can get pretty creative. And like you say, that Korean is just a stir-fry in a bottle. You don't have to go grab, you know, eight or nine different ingredients. Just open the bottle and have at it. Yeah. Well, I mean, when Larry and I were up there and, uh, you know, when you and I were doing the cooking segments on Outdoors Traditions for a long time, <laughs> yeah. you know, we, we used to, we had, we had bear, we, had, we did a lot of stir-fry stuff up there. Oh, yeah. And, and stir-fry is, you know... It's so quick and easy. It just, uh, you know, especially with the, you know, you can buy bags of frozen mixed vegetables, and there's so many different ones. I mean, you can get asparagus, you can get snow peas. I mean, you can, you name it. I mean, water chestnuts in it. Yeah. I always like to add an extra little can of water chestnuts just for the crunch. Yeah, I like water chestnut and snow peas with like uh, turkey or um, yep. if I'm making venison stir fry or you know. Um, and I and most of ninety nine percent of the time it's Jenny doing it, not me anymore. But uh, she uh, she's really you're getting shiftless. Huh? You're getting shiftless. Is that it, what you're saying? You make her do all the work? No, <laughs> she she loves. To, she's a great cook, man. That's why I'm so fat. Well, remember, Paul Bears don't get paid for the pounds. So when you go, there's not going to be an upcharge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I tell you, man, it's uh, she made what she made something the other day that was just really good. I can't remember what it was now, but yeah, when Larry when Larry comes up and you know for like the deer classic or if they're if he's up here hunting and stuff, I mean she makes him uh, she makes him like venison uh, stroganoff and uh, oh yeah that, that that's really good yeah homemade shrimp and grits she makes him that boy he loves it up here and I'll tell you what that. Uh... You know, you say it's stroganoff, but I'll tell you what, it's even good to have some uh, uh, venison cooked up and diced up and then just, uh, you know, take the, the butter and uh, flour and add the whole milk to it, just make a nice white gravy and uh, and put uh, oh, about a teaspoon of cookie flavor in hand to do about a pint of that gravy mix mm -hmm. and uh, stir that in and uh, mix that in with the venison. And just grab a can of those uh, Pillsbury Grand biscuits and cook them up and split them, flake them things out and dump that gravy over the top of that. Well, I'll tell you what, is that tasty? Yeah, that sounds good. You know, I, I, I you know, I, I, one of my favorite things is to make sloppy doughs. I love sloppy doughs. And, yeah. and you know, a little cookies flavor enhancer and you put that in there and you, you just stir it in and brown it and. Man, you put that on a nice Hawaiian bun with a little chopped white chopped onion. You, I mean, there's just oh, I don't I think there's those. oh those are awesome, aren't they? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, John and Lori. Good morning, Jeff. Good to see y'all on Facebook Live. Hey, Speed, hang on. I know you got to run, but I, I want to take a quick break, and then I, I got something else I want to I want to visit with you about before we let yep. you go. Is that all right? Yep. Yep. Sounds good. Dave. All right, we'll be right back with the Sauce Man right here on 1350 ESPN. What's everybody up to today? Do you love hearing that old Tom sound off while you're in the field? Well, then you need to check out a live action decoys. Hey, guys, it's Outdoors Dan here. I'm hungry, man. I, buddy, I, every time I get him on the radio or talk to him, I gain five pounds, Michael. Wade and Teresa Morning, Gobbins Jeffy. With the Dave Smith Gobbler decoy and then apply their patented system 
that allows you to raise your decoy's tail fan up and down, move it side to side, and even walk that tom up I and love sloppy does, man. I could eat those for breakfast. The live action decoys are so amazingly lifelike, though. You're going to pull even the wariest old boss tom you got running around your woods. Plus, the good thing is they're made right here in the good old U.S. of A. For more information about live action decoys, please check them out on Facebook or call them at 815-674-1626. Take it from me, Outdoors Dan. They're going to help you be more successful in the field this year. They're one of America's favorite fish to go after. Whether you call them old paper mouth or a slab, folks love to chase after the tasty crappie. And the folks at purecrappie.com are waiting to help you limit out your next fishing trip. Whether you dip, troll, or cast for them, purecrappie.com has the baits, tackle, and apparel every crappie angler will appreciate. So before you head to your favorite fishing hole, head on over to purecrappie.com. That's purecrappie.com. They will help you catch more fish. Hello, this is Dave from JLM Shooter Supply in Urbandale. We are a full-service gun shop that specializes in helping you find the right firearm for your needs. So, we carry Andrew, new and used firearms for all shooting disciplines, okay. from self-defense so, to shooting So, um, I need to load well Sunday yet. Like we have recently then, uh, expanded our store to better serve I've got a Monday through Friday so done, so you're going to need to do Saturday and Sunday we'll also next week. any firearm you might wish to sell. Uh, plus, or start working on JLM Shooter next Supply week. carries firearms. Try to get at least through Wednesday done. We can even special order items for okay. those who like to add higher end guns. And when I get back from Pennsylvania, JLM I'll do the rest. Has a full time gunsmith on board that can help with all your gun repair needs. So all you got to do is just go back and reconcile what I did before to keep it. Kits, holsters, and sights. We handle it all at JLM Shooter Supply in Urbandale. Please stop by and see us at 69. All right, Chris, as soon as we finish up with Steve, I'll do that for you, bud. 515-331-1577. That's 515-331-1577. Let's talk about a story, an Iowa story about a dream that took several years to come true in Osceola, Iowa. It's the oh, story that sounds, of Rebel That sounds Dillard good, Jay. These fine I like turkey burgers. Gins and vodkas were born from the labor of Rob and Christina. Thank Taylor. you, Carrie. I appreciate that. that you good luck too if you get out this uh, this next week. Tastes and satisfies with every sip from the honey whiskey. Morning, Skippy. Looks like you're having fun over there in Illinois. American gin or vodkas. Revelton Distilling visitors can't believe the flavor profiles the mixologists are creating at the distillery every day. Revelton Distillery is open Wednesday through Sunday in Osceola. They're located at 1400 West Clay Street, right off I-35. Revelton Distillery fine spirits are also available at your local grocery and other retailers around Iowa. Please check them out online at reveltondistillery.com or visit them at the distillery. If it's time to celebrate or just time to sit back and unwind, well, then it's time for a Revelton moment. Every spring it happens. You can't wait to hear those first gobs. And the trip to getting that Tom is sounding as sweet as the hen roosted out in front of you. Have you ever heard of Spurs Up calls? Spurs Up is a call company located right here in the USA. We can craft your perfect custom call out of cherry, zebra, or walnut wood with an aluminum, slate, glass, or crystal surface. Our single wagon design has one friction she surface for those who want to run just one side, while our double and many wagon designs can run multiple sides, so you can switch between yells and cuts. Contentment calls in a split second, and size does matter when it comes to the sound you need. I'm our trying, Tony. Single and the double wagon wheels have a deeper sound, while the mini wagon calls have a higher pitch. If box calls are more your style, our little lady walnut box call is the one you'll want in your arsenal. Spurs Up Calls is a family call business that knows that little things make a big difference. Check out our calls at SpursUpCalls.com. Spurs Up Calls, family owned and hunter friendly. This is the Outdoor Call Radio with Outdoors Dan on Des Moines Sports Leader, 1350 ESPN. All right, welcome back to the Outdoor Call Radio with Outdoors Dan. Hope everyone's having a good Saturday morning all across the good old USA. I got the sauce man here, Mr. Speed from Cookies Barbecue Sauce. So uh, we're going to do something kind of fun this uh, summer. Uh, Larry and I are still working on the, the name we're going to do, but we're going to do a deer chili contest. Um, and what did you say? Uh, make make more <laughs> make speed make cookies deer chili and make your own gas is that what you said when we were talking about yeah, that? that's right yeah it's uh it'll be a i don't know what we're going to call it e15 or whether it'll be like close to e85 but uh, uh we're going to call it d15 or d85 for the deer and uh 
it'll be uh, it'll be kind of a rewarding gassing experience. Yeah, so we're going to do this on Respect the Games TV's uh, social media stuff. So we'll give away a year's supply of cookies barbecue sauce and uh, whoever wins that. And then we'll throw in uh, some archery stuff. We'll throw in some deer hunting stuff. So whoever wins that's going to be nice. But uh, you better get get out your get out your pencils and start working on the, the best uh, cookies barbecue sauce deer chili uh, recipe that you can put together and you might win you might win I, I I'm looking forward to that I love deer chili man I tell you what uh, I like our sweet and spicy uh, barbecue that's got a little bit of molasses and a little bit of jalapeno in it uh-huh. and that really goes good in the chili yeah and you also use your salsa too don't you oh yeah I'll tell you what anytime I'm making like uh, uh, I'll make a mixture of uh, ground beef and ground pork and, and cook it down and then I just dump a jar of our uh, medium salt in there with it. And it's got all the spices and stuff in it. And then I'll add another, depending on how big a batch I'm making, about another teaspoon of cookies flavor enhancer in with it. And uh, and you can either do a bean or a no bean chili. And uh, I'll tell you what, that uh, uh, really wakes that, uh, that meat up and uh, makes it really tasty. Yeah. Well, we'll let you know. Uh, we're going to be filming some respect to game stuff with uh, Speed when we, we we're going to catch up with him at a at a we, uh, a rib wagon event, and then we'll uh, we'll get that out, and then we'll we'll start telling you about the the, the chili contest. But uh, yeah, I thought that'd be something kind of fun to do this year, Speedy. Well, yeah, it uh, would be, and hopefully it works out that uh, when you're doing it, I'm not at a rib wagon event someplace that I can come and straighten you out. <laughs> you, you, you realize, Dan, you know, it, when I've actually been around you a half an hour where I can kind of, you know, really get you thinking straight again, it's been actually too long. <laughs> well, that's because, you, that's because you're out there wintering in Arizona. I don't see, I don't get to see it that much anymore. Oh, yeah, I winter in Arizona, all right. I, I go out there, the longest I go out there for is two weeks. I, I go out there and uh, pedal a few golf cars and... Uh, and uh, cook up a bunch of goodies, then I come back, and uh, I just keep going back and forth, keep the head of the bill collectors. Yeah, I don't know anybody. Uh, I don't. I don't know anybody that works as hard as you do at your age. I'm telling you that right now. Well, I, I've, I've got 84 years experience, and I got to get 56 more years of experience, and I'm going to go part time at 140. Yeah, well, that's that. That sounds good, bud. That sounds good. All right, I know you got to go, but. Thanks for spending some time with us this morning, and uh, I'll catch up with you uh, when I get. Uh, I'll catch up with you around the middle of May, and we'll get you on before uh, Mother Day, Mother's or Father's Day. Okay. Yep, sounds good, Dan, and uh, everybody out there. Have a great day, and uh, stay in the sauce. Make sure it's cookie sauce, the sauce without a hangover. <laughs> you be safe out there, buddy. Yep, have a good one. Thanks, Dan. Well, bye, See Speedy. Bye, bye. There he goes, the sauce man. I, I love that man. I, I I tell you what, of all the souls I've met on this earth, that guy right there is uh, he's he's a treasure, man. I always say he's an Iowa treasure, but that guy's just a, he's just something else. No, he's a he's almost a national treasure. Yeah, he really is. I eighty four and he's out there running seven days a week. Yeah, wow. I can't even do that at fifty eight. Yeah, I think a lot of us aspire to get to that point where we can yeah. be functional at eighty four. Let alone what he's doing. If I'm half as articulate as he is at, at 84, I'll be happy. You're, you're not even there now. <laughs> Jerry says I had him at Chili. I'm telling you what, that is going to be a fun contest, buddy. I'm just telling you, just fun. Uh, make your own gas with chili with cookies, dear chili. I, uh, wrong, sir. Wrong. Ah, that's right. It's so wrong, it's right. <laughs> so, I don't know. So, um... Uh, we uh, we got turkey seasons coming up. I know uh, I told everybody we we're going to talk about that. Chris wanted me to give him some tips about the kids. So, I, Chris, this is just uh, real quick. Uh, I would st- I would take the, take the kid. Yeah. Okay, Jenny says we're fine. Thank you, dear. Thanks, Jenny. Uh, I uh, I would get out there. You know, everybody loves hearing the turkeys wake up in the morning. Right, and it's not a lot of fun having to get up at three thirty, four o'clock to do that. But especially when you got young ones. But I, I would, you know, I would say if you're going to take them out, balance it up a little bit. Take them out one morning uh, before, well, a half hour before dark. Get them in the blind. 
and let them start hearing those first tree calls, those, start, those first gobbles. And then, you know, let them, let them get excited and get fired up. Because we all, I mean, I can't wait to hear them on Monday. I, I just, it's the, the anticipation of hearing all that. I just, I'm, I'm excited, you know. Jenny goes, Jenny told me this week, she goes, you've been in such a good mood this week. And I said, hon, I'm always in a good mood. She goes, no, you're not. And she goes, and she goes, uh, she goes, the, I, the only reason you're in a good mood this week is because you're going to Donovan's. And I said, well, that's probably true. I love Donovan's. Triple H Outfitters, it's my second home. I've said that for 15 years. But uh, I, uh, you know, I, you got to mix it up a little bit. And, you know, some of the best hunting, I've said this time and time again, some of the best hunting, in my humble opinion, is between 10 and 2. So if you're, if you, if you got kids that get antsy, they, you know, they have a hard time staying focused for more than an hour, a couple hours out there, or, you know, get out there at 9 o'clock. Get, let it get settled in, you know, sneak in, you know, don't, you know, don't disturb anything and then let it settle down, wait a half an hour and then start calling and see if you can't strike a bird. Um, and I, you know, listen, take, take, a, take a bag of beef jerky with you, a bag, bag of candy, uh, you know, just, I, you know, do whatever you can to keep their mind occupied. Let them take their Game Boys with them or their phones, just put them on silent. And, you know, that's the nice thing about a ground blind, a ground blind, they can move around. You know, they can stand up if they need to. They can play their, you know, read a book. They can play a game. I mean, I have a hard time sitting out there sometimes for 10, 12 hours. You know, that's a long day. Yeah, you just get on your fantasy app, you know. Well, we don't have fantasy football right now, so I'm uh, kind of hosed. Yeah, you're kinda... I did activate the league, though. I did I activated course, the league. Of course. Did you see that? Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm trying, to make a, uh, I'm trying to make a trade for draft picks right now. So Already. Yeah. You're already making trades without even knowing. Hey, I'm tired of coming in second place, man. It's two years in a row I've been hosed for the, for the, the big money. You know? Hey. You know? It happens. It happens, yeah. But anyway, do, you know, just, but anyway, do, what, <laughs> do whatever you can to keep your mind occupied. But I, I, I try to call every 15, 20 minutes and... You know, and one of the hardest things to do, I, I you know, is you gotta, if you got a Tom out there and he's gobbling every time you call, but he's not coming in, one of the hardest things to do when you know that Tom's around is just put your call down. Because I'm telling you what, when they don't come in and they're calling, they're, they're, they're hung up, um, they're, they're wanting that hen to go to them. You know, that's how God programmed them turkeys. Good morning, Charles. How you doing, buddy? Uh, that's how, you know, the hen goes to him when he gobbles. So when you sit there and you, ow, 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 and he's he's hammering it, gobble, you know, gobbling, and and you, you just keep calling. He's going, well, what's going on? Why is she not coming in here? So if you just put that call down, <laughs> Tony goes, football's a long way away. I know, Tony. Trust me, I know. Hundred, you know, it's 146 days away. You know, I I know how long it is. I I like. It I, counts. Oh, I do. I do. I love. I, I love fantasy football, man. I made up with it, but uh, it's just uh, you. You got to You sometimes you just got to put that call down, and that that Tom's going to do one or two things. He's going to get mad, uh, or he's going to get curious and come in. And you know, I, I that's worked for me. That's the biggest mistake I used to make when I was when I first started turkey hunting. I kept calling. I kept calling and calling and calling and calling and calling. You know, I, you know, I, I equate this. Remember how it was when you were talking to your girlfriend, when remember you are your wife, remember when you met your wife and you know, you call her all the time, you know, you know, what, what happens when you don't call or what, let me flip that around a little bit. I'm sorry. You know, when you start talking to your girlfriend, you know, and then, you know, and then you call her and then she doesn't call back. What happens? You bada go, bing, bada boom, you're out of bear. No. You start getting, you, you start thinking, like, okay, what did I do? Did I do something wrong? Did I say something I shouldn't have said? And then you call her again, and then she doesn't call you back. Then you really start pacing. You start walking the floor, like, oh, my gosh, man. Did I did I mess up? Did I mess, did I, did I, do, what did I do? What did I do wrong? So you start thinking about that stuff, right? Well, that's what that Tom, that's what goes through that Tom's head. It's like, why ain't she calling back, you know? I gobbled at her, and she ain't calling. Something, something's up. I better go see what's going on. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, that, that works. That works. 
<laughs> there you go, Jerry. So, yeah, I had to get the, I had to flip it because I had it the wrong way there for a minute. I'm t I didn't, that dog of mine, man, four, I don't know what is wrong with my dog lately. Three. Thank you, Steve. I appreciate that. Steve's laughing at me. Uh, I, um, that dog of mine's been getting up at three, four o'clock in the morning because he's got to go pee. You know, I'll be sitting there sound asleep and I'll hear this. Arr. Or he'll take and shake his head with his, you know, his ears. You he heard this. Bum, 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 bum. And it's like, what are you doing, dog? And then I'll, I'll, I'll open my eye, my one eye, and he'll, he'll be just sitting there looking at me or he'll be by the door. Uh, come on. And he throws his little butt outside. And he goes out there and he's got to sniff the air. And then he goes and does his thing. And then he comes in. Then he wants a treat. And then I put his rear in the kennel. And uh, then he sleeps the rest of the night. You know, that, that dog of mine. Well, he might as well try for it, right? Try for the treat. Oh, he, you know, that, he's a, that dog's a mess, man. I'm just telling you. He's a mess. Yeah. 7.30 and some change. I want to, you talk about somebody that's not a mess. Herman's Fine Jewelers. I talked to Donnie and Frank this week, and they wanted me to say, if you needed more turkey gear, you need a new shotgun, you need some decoys, you need a, you need a hunting blind, is your trolling motor on its last leg, and you, need, you want that spot lock technology? Well, take your unused jewelry that you just don't wear anymore and go to Herman's Fine Jewelers. Donnie and Frank are making great deals every day over there. Not only do they sell great stuff, not only can they make custom stuff, they buy your treasure. That's right. They, they want your treasure, and they'll make you a good offer on it. Just give them a holler at 222-2600. They've been helping Iowans for over 30 years. They can, they can really make your day with uh, you, you know, helping you out on your outdoor needs. I'm telling you. I took something over there, and I was very happy with what I got for it. They'll do the same thing for you, whether you're trading or selling or looking to, you know, get get engaged. Uh, you need some custom stuff done, like my elk cross or my elk ring that I got made. They can do all that for you at 2900 University in, uh, Avenue in West Des Moines. Harmon's Fine Jewelers. That's where I go when I need to go see a jeweler because they're awesome. All right, we'll be right back on 1350 ESPN. There you go, Aunt. There you go, Your Honor. What you doing, Andrew? Bow hunting or archery is your passion. Get to Archery Field and Sports in Altoona and see what's new in your sport. Yeah. Archery Field and Sports has been helping archers and bow hunters for generations. They have the experience to help you with your purchase. Well, good morning, Dr. Yagi. How you doing, Obi-Wan? Sports carries archery gear from Matthews, Hoyt, Bowtech, and Bear, plus all the top extras and accessories. You'll what you doing this fine morning? Staff are trained on all the latest tuning well, you're up early. setup techniques and are experts at personally fitting you to the bow you want. They also have a 40-yard indoor range that will help you with getting... What are you doing this morning, Scotty? You going You going somewhere? ...and personal training sessions available for you to train for the upcoming seasons. That'll help you... How's your, your teeth? Dad. Your teeth Our been good since he fixed you up? Oh, yeah. oh Dr. Yankee, man. He's, he's something else, isn't he? Tuesday through Sunday with League Story. For more information, go to Archery Field. Wow, he's working on a Saturday. Dr. Yegi. At American Family Life Insurance, we know that protecting... Got love, Obi-Wan Kenobi Yegi. Morning, Ed. Good to see you, buddy. You feel good knowing you've taken steps to protect what matters most if you were to pass away. Plus, life insurance is often more affordable than you think. Let's talk about options that fit you. Contact Darren Islander, agent at 515-964-7575 today. American Family Insurance. American Family Life Insurance Company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin. If you're into the outdoors, whether it's camping, hunting, or fishing, you want your camping setup to be easy and you stay as comfortable as possible. Camp Right has been helping folks enjoy the outdoors as problem free as possible. Boy, somebody's going to want a snappy, pure crappie hat today. And some baits. Look at that. To make sure your adventures are ones you'll want to They carry great tents like the original tent cot that started it all. This fully enclosed off the ground sleeve shelter combines the Well, I tell you what, Jay, I, it doesn't surprise me. Protection of a tent. You going out to Nebraska hunting, bud? Including single and double units. A lot of folks out there in Nebraska hunting today. Jesse's out there. My buddy Jesse. Other fine quality outdoor products. With over 17 years of field testing all these great outdoor gear products. Camp Ride is the right choice to make Bill's probably out there. 
Check out all these Camp Right products at your local Sportsman's Warehouse store or on the web at Camp Right. Make your own gas with Cookies Deer Chili. <laughs> Did you hear the That's going to be a fun Olive promotion. Has a brand new location oh, in the district of Prairie Trail in Anchorage. Neil, I'm, and I can't wait to rip some lips, buddy. Every day. The Olive Tap is your one destination for the finest cooking oil, spices, and vinegars, and now fresh salads and sandwiches. They got you, Robin. More of your favorite olive oil We're not a, a t today's not on the app. With unique flavors like no, nope. well, you can go to the app. It's it's got some best of shows on there. We're not live on the app yet. That's when we move. When we got you, Robin. Got you. Robin. Got you. Twenty different varieties of balsamic vinegars, including raspberry. Just want to make sure we didn't lose you. No flippy floppy. Dark chocolate and many more. The olive tap carries sauces, spices, no flippy floppy. Jellies and other fine cookies. Don't be flipping the floppy. Cooks would enjoy. They even offer cooking classes and tasting parties. Stop by the olive tap at the District of Prairie Trail, sixteen ten Southwest Main Street, Suite one hundred five in Ankeny, five one five nine six four one. So you're going to need to get the new phrase that phrase that pays done this weekend for your next outdoor adventure wouldn't it be nice to have high definition footage as a fun uh it's called lethal bug and tick spray chris just go to lethalproducts.com archery field and sports has a bunch of it right now Good morning aaron if you go down to uh archery field and sports in altoona mark had a bunch of it but that stuff's great i will Ed says he's not a flipper flopper. Thank you, Ed. Uh, do you, uh, why don't you do for this week? Uh, I'll tell you. I'll tell you later. So when you're ready to record your next hunting or fishing adventure, don't forget to take your Tacticam camera. You'll be able to relive your trips like never before. Tacticam.com for more info. You're listening to the Outdoor Call Radio with Outdoors Dan on 1350 ESPN. All right, welcome back to the Outdoor Call Radio with Outdoors Dan on 1350 ESPN. Hope you're having a good Saturday morning. I know we are. Andrew is doing fine. I want to take a minute here to talk about Andrew Brown. Andrew Brown has been with me going on in almost five years now. And almost five years. So, uh, it's uh, at, uh, when, did, when did you start in the summer? Uh, it was, boy, we were, I was with iHeart. And then uh, it was in the winter. It was, I think it was more in the spring. I remember, uh, remember one of the first first three weeks that I was yeah. there you had uh, you had an author on uh, I can't remember what what his name was but there was an author uh, and then actually the first time I, I had come there you had a full set you had a lot of people in studio uh, everybody every chair was taken up oh at, when we were on the other yeah yeah you know that's the only thing I miss about that state they had they have way bigger studios you know so we yeah. could have guests and stuff you know that but that's all right um, but a Andrew's been with me almost going on uh, over five years now, and uh, you know I, I've tried and I've tried I've tried to articulate broadcasting to him and teach him <laughs> teach him how you know the methodology of, of successful radio broadcasting as much as I read about it because I you know I can't say that I know it firsthand I've only been on twenty five years but uh, I still got a lot to learn but you know the thing is you know yeah, I bought him a watch. Over the years, to make sure he's on time, <laughs> uh, you know that didn't help. But uh, no, and seriously, uh, Andrew, Andrew is honestly, you know, I tease him a lot. I had somebody email me the other day and says, "Why are you so hard on him? You're always giving him." You know, I learned a long time ago. I get crud all the time, and if people don't like you, they don't tease you. And I said, Andrew is like a like a one of my kids. You know, uh, he comes over, Jenny feeds him on Wednesdays. Um, you know, I, 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 the show wouldn't be the same without Andrew. I love Andrew and that's, that's, you know, that's from the bottom of my heart. So I just, uh, I wanted to say happy anniversary and I hope you're with me for another 10 years. I'd like to do the show another 10 years and, there you, go. you know, uh, I, I hope you're having as much fun as I do. I, I don't want him going anywhere because I won't have anybody to trade with on fantasy football. <laughs> <laughs> 
everyone else is starting to shy away. Everybody else is not, they're starting not to want to trade anymore because I keep winning. And then my stupid brother keeps beating me in the play in the Super Bowl. So I I, I told him that's going to stop one way or another. <laughs> uh, anyway, we love you and uh, thank thank you for being part of the show. And uh, I know you you do a lot of work behind the scenes, and um, I couldn't do I couldn't do a lot of the stuff I do if it wasn't uh, for you. I could rely on you. So thank you, buddy. We appreciate it. Happy to be here. Yeah, there you go. All right, so let's do the Sportsman's Warehouse Fishing Report. Blackhawk Lake, water levels are about 14 inches below the crest of the spillway. Anglers are targeting panfish along the shore in Town Bay, primarily in the floating dock area. Crappie bite is fair, perch are fair. Clear Lake, ice is free. Lake is ice free. Clear Lake is a protected slot on walleye. All walleye must be between 17 and 20 inches. No more than one walleye uh, may be longer than 22 inches taken per day. Yellow perch are slow, catfish are slow, walleye are slow. East Okaboji, the crappie bite is good, the gills are good. Uh, yellow bass are fair. Spirit Lake, ice free, crappie bite is fair. Uh, bluegill is fair, the walleye bite is slow, yellow perch is fair. Wapsapinican River, northern pike is fair, the walleye fair. And let's see. Uh, th- 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 try the try near the current breaks or slack water areas for some b- uh, better fishing. 12 mile largemouth bass bite is slow. Catch largemouth bass up to 20 inches with uh, finessing plastics. Fish near the deep cedar tr- uh, brush piles and any kind of structure. Big Creek, the walleye bite is slow. Uh, twister tails or swim baits are working working well when they're biting. Des Moines River, Sailorville to Red Rock, the walleye bite is fair. Catch walleye March through April with twister tail, swim baits, or live minnows on jigs. Des Moines River, Stratfield to Sailorville Lake, the walleye bite is fair. Same thing, swim baits, live minnows on jigs. Best bite is early morning and evening. All right, so like I told you, the turkey season uh, is going to start for us next week. The kids get to get out there. The Utes, the youths, the youths, the Utes. Uh, are going to be out there uh, 8th through the 10th, Iowa residents only. Uh, and I, I would just do this. Uh, if you're going to be out there first season that early, I would definitely throw you out a Jake and two hens at least. Uh, a, a feeding hen is always good because if a hen is feeding, that tells the other birds that things are calm. Everything's okay. Come on over. It's all good. The food's excellent. There's nothing to worry about here. You know, that's what that feeding hen does. Uh, an alert hen can actually make them a little bit uh, a little bit wary. But I like a leading hen, an alert hen, or and a feeding hen myself. Now, lately what I've been doing is I've been putting a feeding hen out, and then I've been putting a hen and a, breed, a, a lay-down hen next to my jake. So that's the two hens I've been using lately, last the last season and a half. Um but I switch it up all the time. You know, if I go out, if I'm hunting the same spot more in a day or two, I always, I don't put the same hens out all the time. I want it to look different to that tom, even though I don't move my blind. I want, I want those toms to come in and say, hey, that's a little bit different. Yeah, it's just like, you know, hey, you know, switch it up, you know, make it look a little different. And uh, if you have a tom come in and he busts you moving um, or he puts off, Wait till the wait till the turkeys clear the field and then crawl out there. And if you got an extra hen in the blind, switch your decoy spread up then and crawl back in the blind. Wait about a half an hour and then start calling again. You might get that tom to come back in. If you see something different there, you might get him to come back in still. So don't be afraid to switch that stuff up. I mean, it's a turkey. You don't have you know. Don't worry about messing up. Don't worry about making a wrong call. Don't worry about make sounding like. Some of the worst turkey sounds or turkey calls I've ever heard in my life, besides myself, were real turkeys. So, hey, the Ayatollah or Rock and Rolla is watching us on Facebook Live. Uh, East Coast Trev. Hi, Travi. Good to see you, brother. Um, don't be afraid about making a bad call. You know, I, uh, I, this time of year, like I said, I'm pretty conservative. If I, if I get a couple toms that are calling... Then I might start do some exciting yelping or, you know, I might cut a little bit. But most of the time I'm doing four or five notes and then I, I, I just shut up for a I, I call every five, every five to, you know, 15 minutes. Just depending on 
on what the turkeys are doing. But uh, got my spurs up call right here. Look at that spurs up call. Good day, Arkansas Avenger. Good morning, Arkansas. Good to see you. That's my professional wrestling buddy. But uh, you know, just get out there. You know, a hen will make four to five, uh, five to seven notes. I do four to five just to make sure I'm safe on that. But you just get out there and. And then I'll shut up for about 10, 15 minutes. And then if they gobble, I might just do a quick little. And then if he hammers it again, I'll be quiet. I mean, you can, you can purr, you can, you can cluck. A purr is a contentment call. That means everything's okie dokie. You know, you can, you can just throw a little cluck in there. You can, you could do a. Do something like that. It does. You know, don't worry about trying different things or messing up. You know, you that. Just don't try to do one thing I will urge you to do that, that's really helped me over the years. Don't call real loud. Turkeys can hear exceptionally well. And if you start calling really loud, you know, sometimes that can actually hurt you instead of help you. Um, to me, I, like I said, I've always tried to be a little more soft on my calls. And uh, I, when I started slowing my calls down, uh, you know, doing every 15 to, 30, 15 to 20 minutes um, and, and just lowering my tone... Turkeys have phenomenal hearing. Um, I, I don't know how many birds I, I boogered off when I first started because I was calling. I was calling way too loud. And yeah, I told you what a mouth call. I sound like a wounded seal. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. That's kind of what it, that's kind of what I felt like. Oh, that sounded wonderful. Better than, better than I'm truly. Oh well, thank you, Stewie. I appreciate that. that man, Stewie Stay, said, sir. "Yeah, Stewie said that sounded good." All right, seven forty-six and some change. Let me hit a real quick break. I'll be right back on thirteen fifty ESPN. Are you into hunting, fishing, camping, or tailgating? If you are, we'd like to introduce you to Arctic Ice. Arctic Ice is a brand new way to keep your game, beverages, and camping supplies. Morning, Brant. Good to see you, bud. Adventure takes you. Arctic ice packs are a rugged ice substitute that maintains low temperature longer than a bag of ice and does not have the slushy mess that can contaminate. That's a good. That's a good way to go, Tony. Or fish. Look at the Alaskan series or Arctic ice packs that will keep your game or fish at 34 degrees for three to four days. If you're wanting to really freeze things up, try the Tundra packs that can keep your wild game and fish. Go get them, Stewie. Ice temperatures for the travel back home. For tailgating or camping, try the chilling brew packs. They will keep your beverages of choice at frosty cold temperatures four times longer than what a bag of ice can. If you want your cave, fish, or camping goods to stay fresh and cold as possible without the mess of regular ice, go check out Arctic Ice Packs today. You can find models of Arctic Ice Packs at Sportsman's Warehouse or at www.arctic-ice.com. You were hunting and a deer tick just crawled onto your leg and is burying its head into huh? your flesh. You can't feel the bite and you may... Oh, uh, I already took it out. Tick. In the coming what weeks, you may or may not notice what, a red What playlist was it on? It was on a couple. After, you may or may not get really yeah, just, sick. Your doctor may or may not test Yeah, it's 328 now, but uh, there was some... Because I had some people emailing me the old phrase. That's the only way I know. Not get the medication no, needed. once I took them out, they... Or not treated on time, you could have a no, I, I took them out the other day. Don't when I told you, chance. I had them. I took them out. clothing from Game Hive. Elimitic features insect no, shield. No, it was Wednesday, I think. Fused to the fabric yeah. fibers. Ticks yeah. hate it. Elimitic clothing will retain its effectiveness for the life of the garment and needs no special care. The treatment is odorless and invisible. Uh, Jeff, my my best times for hunting, buddy, is 10 to 2. 10 to 2 is my favorite time to hunt. I like getting out there in the morning and hear them wake up and stuff. And, you know, they'll fly down and they'll go quiet for a while a lot of times because they got hens with them in the roost, but... Uh, that 10 to 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. time is magic for me. That's my favorite time to hunt. 
for hunting. You can't go wrong with a Lone Rock sheath knife. These sheath style knives feature a gut hook or classic clip blade design and are great for hunting. The handles are made to stay in your hand and not slip, and the blades are made with the highest quality high carbon stainless steel. When you get your game down, try an RBK skinning knife. This knife allows you to change out blades as they wear hey, down. Hey, Eric, good luck, man. Point on Eric's in South Dakota, hon. an extra handle so your buddy can help you cape out your game, saving time on getting your valuable meat cooled down fast. Kershaw has knives for people on the go, like the brand new shuffle. This new folding <laughs> knife has great looks. I hear you, Jeffy. I hear you. Beverages. Perfect for when you're on the go. Check out all the knives at KershawKnives.com or at sporting goods stores near you. Kershaw Knives, an outdoor partner you can count on. Tacticam has launched the best-in-class cellular trail camera, the number one selling action camera in the industry. The new reveal by Tacticam will change the way you scout forever. Not only is it one of the easiest to set up, but the most affordable cellular camera on the market. As you know, you educate your game and leave your scent when checking cameras in the field. With Reveal, those issues are gone. You can receive pictures in almost real time right to your app without going into the field. The Reveal offers half-second trigger speeds, detects game from up to 96 feet away, in 4G and LTE wireless modules, Verizon and AT&T plans available, 24-inch LCD screen, adjustable night illumination, and data plans starting as low as $5 a month. The Reveal's world-class app allows you to set up your camera, add cameras, view and organize pictures, and much more. Again, I get you all fired up. It's five dollars a month. The new reveal. Gosh, I I love turkey hunting. God forgive me. I just I love it. Helps you stop educating your game. RevealCellCam.com for more info. That now comes. That, hearing that bull up, that 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 bugle. Slow. Mm. Don't tink them out on opening day and expect them to perform without having I love previous it. exercise. Remember to have a proper first aid kit for your pet when you go into the field. That should include bandage materials, gauze, antibiotic ointment, and items that could Love be hearing a buck snort wheeze. While some other friendly dogs will buy it there in pain. Don't you love that? I do. On all vaccines I love me a snort wheeze in the morning. Physical exam to make sure he, she is healthy enough to go hunting. <laughs> Always provide your pet with protection from the elements, and this includes a high-quality pet uh, carrier. Westbound and down, loaded up and trucking. I'm going to shoot me a turkey in the morning. I got a long way to go and a short time to get there. Old gobbler, just come on in and run. Woo! Westfield Veterinary Hospital. Get your time on up, Ridge. Let him strut on down the lane. Draw your bow, smack him in the face, and it's going to be all right. 65 pet. Westfield Veterinary Hospital. For the that is a no. That's that's a wood call. That is a spurs up call, Aaron. Spurs up call. Thirteen fifty ESPN. All right, welcome back to the outdoor call with Outdoors Dan on thirteen fifty ESPN. We were doing a little excited yelping while we were off during the break. Everybody on Facebook Live. What did I lose? Like five people? A lot. I was. I, I've annoyed five people. They had to. They they dropped off the Facebook Live. Hey, that's okay. Apparently, I was not speaking their language. <laughs> Either that, or they had to go eat breakfast. Yeah, let's go with. Let's go with that one. <laughs> Jerry said his wife goes. What was that noise? And <laughs> he said Dan and I were. Dan and I were talking dirty to each other. Jerry, don't tell your wife that. I was, I, I, I was just saying, you know, in Turkey language, I was, I was just sitting there, sitting there calling and just being as, I, you know, I always try to be the sexiest hen I can in the woods. You know, being a sexy hen always gets the Tom's attention. You know, you get, get out there and. Come here, big boy. Come here, big boy, you big strutting fellow, you. And I'm telling you, man, you got to be sexy in the woods. If you're sexy in the woods, you're going to be more successful. And I'll t I'm going to give you one more tip real quick, guys. If you know how to cluck and purr and do an excited assembly yelp or a decided yelp and assembly yelp, your wife is going to find you sexier in the morning. I'm telling you. Women like that. <laughs> Jerry's laughing. <laughs> Andrew's over there going, I have no idea what he's talking about. Yeah, no. If I tried that on my wife, she'd kick me out. No, she would not. Have you tried? <laughs> you know, you, you yelp, you, when you get home tonight, start clucking at your wife. Just start yelping and, you know, clucking. And, 
you know, do a little soft purr. I don't know. It may sound like a dying cat or something. Just I, go I home don't... and go. Burr, 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 burr. She'll be all over you. <laughs> I'll let you know how it goes. She'll be sitting there going, that's my man. That's my sweet man right there. My, I, That's my Andrew. If I'm at your doorstep at 10 o'clock at night, you know why. You won't be at my doorstep at 10 o'clock at night. I'm going to be in Kansas. <laughs> you you want to drive down to Kansas to top me off? That's fine. Come on down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. 10 o'clock. I'll be asleep by 10 o'clock tonight. Trust me. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, I got some driving. I got drive I got some driving to do. I got some windshield time. And you can listen about how you can actually win the league this year. Well, well I'm sorry. What place did you get? Hey, it wasn't, don't be giving me crud. It wasn't last. I was middle of the pack. Yeah. I I don't. What's the best you've ever finished in our leagues in five years? Fourth. Fourth. Okay. Well, you better step your game up a little bit. At you know. You know what your problem year, is. Here's what your problem is. <laughs> You don't trade enough. I trade with you all the time. You, not just with me. You need to trade with other people. Well, I'm too busy trading with you to trade with other people. If you would have traded, what uh, I tried, what what was that trade I tried to do with you, and you would you wouldn't do it? Uh, Kyle Pitts. If you would have traded Kyle Pitts last year, you probably would have been in third place. I don't know. I I yeah. I've been burnt by two people getting injured. Well, that's not. There's nothing I can do it's about the, it. That's it's that the ha- Dan that, trade that, effect. Somebody's going to get hurt after you. get Hey, them. that happened to me. I got burnt. My quarterback went down, and then I traded, and he, and I he went down again. I it happens. You can't control that. I don't know. You know, my stupid brother. What do you want for Jonathan Taylor? What do you want for Jonathan Taylor? I said, if you want Jonathan Taylor, it's going to cost you Justin Jefferson and your first round pick. Well, I'm not doing that. Well, then you're not getting Jonathan Taylor. Yeah, you, you got to give up a haul for Jonathan Taylor. I'm not giving up Jonathan Taylor. He's a hot commodity. Yeah, I love. I actually like Jonathan Taylor. He's a good young man. I'm not a fan of Wisconsin, but, you know, he's a pretty easy, as a Wisconsin alum, I'll yeah. take him. Yeah, all right. Anyway, uh, we got we got Dave Bloom coming up. We're going to talk 410. So if you want to talk a little shotgun or hear some, you got a question, you can hit me up here on Facebook Live. For Dave, if you want to talk about turkey loads or, uh, you know, shotguns and all that other fun stuff. Uh, and then uh, we got to give that pure uh, that pure crappie hat with some bait away, too. we got to do that next hour. And then no no, uh, no mail call today. We didn't get any mail. I was sad. I, I, yeah, yeah. I don't even know what to say. Yeah, all you got to do is just go to theoutdoorcallradio.com. Yeah. That's the website. My email's right there. And just click on the mailbox. You know, you get a free lunch. Put a high, put a lot of work into that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we you know, we we like hearing that mail call. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I tell you, I'm going to the land of Oz, where turkeys and munchkins stroll down that yellow yellow brick road. It's going to be awesome. We got to go. Hence the music. Hence the music. I got to go. We'll be back here in a few minutes. Keep it on 1350 ESPN. Guns Brothers Coffee. I actually went and got some more coffee finally. Thank you, Andy, if you're listening. From their food plot blends like Trophy Acre, Lazy Acre, Clover Deluxe, and the popular Dixie Six, to their attractants like Game Changer, Sweet Stuff, and Buck Robert. The best way to put it is, if you're not using Backwoods Attraction products, you better hope your neighbor isn't either. From small to large acreage, Backwoods Attraction has to feed and seed perfect for your hunting property. So do yourself a favor and swing by and support your local co-op or farm supply store and ask for Backwoods Attraction to Set yourself up for a successful fall. I don't think. I, I really think that was for if he can forget. I would do it for Jefferson because I like Jefferson. But I, asking for his second pick and, and Jefferson for Taylor is very fair. He's the number one draft pick. I give you a good trade. Cordell Patterson was on fire when I traded you that trade. And who else did I give you in that trade? I gave you two good players. There you go, Aaron. There you go, Tom. That's awesome, man. Kick some tail. 
Go get them, buddy. Tom said they got four out of nine tags filled. That's awesome. Yeah, I can't remember who else. Was it Wolf Fuller? It wasn't Wolf Fuller. Didn't I give you a receiver? KRNT is 102.1 FM and 13. Cordell Patterson was scoring 35 points a game, man. It's almost got a Native American tune to it. Hey, 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 that new Envision rocks. Matter of fact, I was so happy yesterday. I got a I got a UPS I got a UPS drop off, and I got my other Envision in. Oh, I was so happy! Just before I leave for my trips, my backup bow arrives. I I got I love it. I and I like carrying two bows with me. You never know. You might cut a string. You know things happen sometimes. But I I absolutely love that bow. That thing is dead dead on. Shooting those big turkey, uh, those uh, solid decaps, those four-inch broadheads for uh, shooting them in the head. That thing is money. I, I just love it, and I can't wait to get out there moose hunting this fall. That'll be my first big game hunt in September. I'll be moose hunting in Alberta, God willing. I hope everything stays the way it's going. But uh, it's going to be it's going to be awesome. If you want to go see a bow that is super smooth to draw, it's a, it's a, it's, it's so comfortable when you're at full draw anchored in, you can hold forever and it shoots on a dime. If you want to see a great bow like that, go check out the Envision, go check out the terrain, the basin. Those are the three new bows from elite this year. Head over to your nearest elite dealer. You can go to archery field and sports in Altoona. You can go over to uh, sportsman's warehouse up in Ankeny. Um, they should have elites, uh, the new elites in there any day and uh, go see what all to talk about. I'm telling you that's set technology. You can tune your bow within four shots now. Center, center, get your center shot, get your get your rust on, tie your D loop on. Within four shots, you can have a perfect bullet hole without having to have a bow press. That set technology is a game changer, and Elite's the only one that has it. So go check it out. At and you promise you, you'll see what all the fuss is about. All right, we got the man on, Mr. Dave Bloom from JLM Shooter Supply. And uh, I, he had to do something this morning. I, what was you? Was you? What'd you tell me you were doing? <laughs> well, I most mornings I go work out, so that's pretty much what I'm doing. Is I was walking on a treadmill. Really? Yeah. You got a gig tonight? Got a gig tonight. Yep. We're playing at Hawk Heaven in Altoona. Really? What are you singing? Yeah. I don't sing. I play guitar. Yeah. But it's, it's when people ask me, "Hey, what is your band?" And my band is called South Thirty Five. You can find us on Facebook. But everybody's like, so what, what music, how do you, what do you sound like? And I said, basically, imagine Guns N' Roses playing country covers. <laughs> Say that again. Guns N' Roses playing Jason Aldean, or Guns N' Roses playing modern country covers. Although we do play some guards and we do play some other stuff. But we're basically a rock band yeah. that plays country. Okay, I got you. No, all right, so so big, big party band, lots of, lots of fireball. Food? Are you doing some foo foo? You play foo foo fighters? We don't play any foo foo fighters, <laughs> although we probably should, considering what happened this last week. I, I don't even know what foo foo fighters play. I just like the name. <laughs> yeah. They're good. They're, foo fighters are. David Grohl was the. He's, he's he's quite the he's quite the artist. Yeah, my wife loves foo foo fighters. Yeah, she likes she likes all sorts of stuff. I I'm I'm more of an '80s guy. I'm stuck in the '80s now. Yep. I do like I do like. I do like a lot of new country, uh, like Luke, yep. Com Luke Combs, and yep. uh, oh, there's a couple. And, 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 and here's why: modern country is basically a rebirth of classic rock. It is. Yeah, because yeah. as a guitar player, when I play old classic rock stuff, ACDC, you know that kind of stuff, it's the same chords, it's the same scales, it's the same lead progression, it's all the same. It's just now it has a different vibe to it in the country setting. But I'm telling you, modern country. Classic rock. Yeah, thirty eight special, Marshall Tucker. Yep. yep. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, I'm I'm stuck in the eighties. So I hey, uh I, first of all I want to thank you uh before we start talking about this four ten stuff. I absolutely love 
my 4570. Oh, nice. Yeah. I, I, I had I got it I got that I got that shell sleeve put on I put my sling on my son my son came over and said dad when you die that's my gun I said yeah. well I'm glad to hear that you're wanting me to go take a dirt nap so you can get my rifle son yeah the sooner the better yeah yeah well explain to people what that is well it's, it's a, got, it, because just saying you got a 4570 that's one thing this is a completely different thing I've been wanting you know, I've been bugging Dave for what two years now to get a, a Winchester thirty thirty, and I just haven't found one that's really that you know that I really found that I wanted. And then my backup was a Marlin forty five seventy, which is a lever action rifle. Um, it's it's a stainless and it's got a gray wooden stock. I mean, it's just a beautiful rifle. Um, and I I told uh, Kenny and Dave several months ago. I said, hey, I, I want one of those and. I all of a sudden I get a text from Dave the other day. Hey, is this what you want? I said I'll be right there, <laughs> and I was there. I was there within what fifteen minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have to wipe the drool off. The oh my god! Well, hey, and here here's what kind of ticked me off. To be honest with you, I get there. You know, when it, when you get a new truck. You want to be able to first want to sit in it and, you know, take in that, that new truck smell. You know, when you get a new bow, you want to take the wrapping off, you know, the bubble wrap. And, you know, you want to hold it and caress it. I walk into JLM Shooter Supply, and what do I see? There's a guy at the table stroking my rifle. Oh, man. Yeah. But, but, okay, but what people need to understand is this gun, um, Marlin hasn't been making guns for a while. It went bankrupt. It got bought out. There has not been a new Marlin rifle out for a long time. Yeah. This is one of the first, and this is one of the absolute best-looking rifles. If you want to see a picture of it, I took pictures of it, put it on Facebook, said, hey, everybody, look what we got. Sorry, this one is taken. I can't tell you the amount of hate I got, or the amount of hate that you're getting. Am I? Because about every, oh, yeah, because, well, we don't tell them who got it. Oh, okay. But about every other person that walked in the store was like, hey, you still have that Marlin? And it's like, no, that thing walked out in three and a half seconds after it got here. <laughs> and they're like, oh, I wanted that gun. you got to get me that gun. And we're like, uh, yeah, we've got one. We, we're maybe getting another one, but there's a limited amount of them that, again, the demand is ridiculously high. Every gun store wants as many as they can get. So it's going to be a long time before those guns are sitting on shelves anywhere. But when that thing shows up, yeah, you better believe all the gun store people. Are, we're going to pass that baby around and make sure that we had a chance to hold the first Marlin that came in after the long break. Yeah. So we do apologize. <laughs> your, your gun <laughs> no, it's a. I wasn't really. I wasn't really ticked, Dave. I just. It's just like I was sitting there going, "You." I, I saw that, and it's like I hope he knows that sold. <laughs> yeah, they all know. Yeah. That's why they were playing with it because I said, "Hey, this gun is going to be gone in about three minutes. You better." If you want to take a look at it, you better look at it. Yeah. Oh, I, mean, I, it is, I mean, it's it's beautiful. I mean, there's nothing bad about that gun at all. Oh my gosh, are the sights on that thing? Uh, Brad Tingley's watching us on Facebook uh, Facebook Live right now. He said he saw it. He goes, "That is a beautiful firearm." I saw it on JLM's Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. So there's yeah. Brad's one of the guys hating on me. Oh, he's not the only one. Yeah. Well, that's all right. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, I waited for over a year and a half, two years for that yep. gun to show you up. Did. You were patient. Yep. Yeah, you were patient. yeah. So I don't need a thirty thirty. Hey, I, I got thirty thirty shells I bought from you. I can trade in now, right? Yep. Bring them back. To me. I'll give you some money for. Yeah, them. there you go. Now I'll just trade you for some forty five seventy. That'll work too. Yeah, I'm gonna need as much as I can get because I, I pity. I said I pity. I pity the Velociraptor that comes out in my neighborhood. That's exactly right. But. I, my uh, my I told my brother he goes what are you gonna what are you gonna shoot with that I said whatever I can that thing's awesome whatever whatever you want yeah and then I'm gonna get a vortex scope on that and uh, with yep. those defender rings and uh, yep. oh that that's just gonna be a great gun I hear I hear it's a pretty phenomenal turkey gun <laughs> you can't yeah no we're not <laughs> no we're gonna be talking four tens now I I've been getting a lot of people uh, emailing me about this new uh, the new rule. Um, yep. About the four tens. First of all, let's tell everybody what happened. Uh, that that rule got that rule got approved, and it's going to take effect in July, I believe, if I remember right. Yep. So the Iowa legislation passed a new law that says four tens can be used legally to take wild turkeys. Yep. Now the downside is that the effective date is not until July first, and they always do that. 
time. They always make the, the rules a year ahead. So they pass the law now, but it's not effective now. It's effective for the next year, or in this case, the fall turkey season. And what that does is it gives the DNR a little bit of time to put some rules around that. Because just because you can use a 410, the DNR may come in and say, hey, you can use a 410, but you have to use a minimum shot size. Right. Or a minimum style of shot. Or a length of cartridge. Hey, you can't use a two and three quarter. You've got to use a three inch. So there's all these different kind of rules. And again, the DNR has not done that yet. So the stuff I'm telling you right now is just examples of things they could do. Qualifiers on the 410. Well, the good... They may or may not do, but that, that's what the time frame is. That's why they don't just pass it today and say, yep, you can do it tomorrow. It's like, no, the DNR needs to put rules and get they gotta they got to publish the rules. They have to put it in the paperwork online, all the stuff so people have time to understand what the legalities are about. Just It's, it's more than just being able to use a 410. Well, not, and it's just not 410s. It's 28-gauge, too, right? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, but here's the nice thing about it. This is going to give you plenty of time to find a 410 that you want. Or, you know, hey, what a great Christmas gift uh, for your son, your daughter. Yeah, you know, yep. get, a, get them a brand new 410, give it to them at Christmas and say, this is what we're going to turkey hunt with this next spring. Yep. Yeah, that's definitely an option. Because yeah. I'm going to buy a 410, what, and I, that's why I wanted to get you on there. What is out there for options for 410s right now? So the hard part is, because 410s have been fairly uh, out of style mm-hmm. for use in most hunting applications, that there's not a lot of 410s that are out there. There are some. Um, you know, there's some pumps, um, some semi-autos, but not a lot. Most are single shots. However, with the popularity coming back, and 410s have been coming back in popularity, um, you're going to see the manufacturers really start cranking them out. So I would think by next spring, you would have a few more options um, on 410s than you have today. Well, and I, I've been getting a lot of questions about turkey loads. They, You know, like people questioning whether a 410 is going to be enough for uh, a Tom. And absolutely it is. Especially with some of the new blends and shot that's out there right now, Dave, right? Yeah, so this goes hand in hand with the conversation we had the other day about turkey loads. Right. Remember, I was telling you about that TSS load, the, the tungsten load. Again, it's high dollar stuff, but it packs a significant punch and it makes a 410 lethal on a Tom out to 30, 40 yards, no problem. No problem. And, and what's it? What's that blend? What's what you? Is it T? Is it my? Was it TSS the blend, or is that is that a? No, it's not. It's not a blend. That's not a blend. That's tungsten. Okay. So it's a very expensive metal that is about fifty percent denser than lead. Okay. So you know, for years and years and years, the gold standard is lead because it carries the most energy, the most density. You shoot steel. Steel doesn't have near the energy. It moves fast, but it doesn't have near the energy because it doesn't have the weight. Lead has more weight. Well, tungsten has even more weight than lead. So you can go down in shot size. So, for example, on a 12-gauge, a tungsten shot with nine shot is equivalent to the energy of a 12-gauge with five shot. And most people are pretty comfortable using five shot on turkey. That's kind of the standard. Right. But now you can go down to a nine shot, carry the same energy, and almost double your pellet count. Which makes it way more accurate. Way more accurate, way more lethal, because you're putting four or five in your kill zone, I mean, four or five times more pellets in the kill zone. So what what, ma- what material is in the blends on the shells? That in the, yeah, the blends are, you get some bismuth, you get some lead, you get some steel. It just depends on which manufacturer you're talking about. Mm-hmm. But they're using alloys and they're using lead. Um, Heavy Shot does that. They have a good blend. Um, and then the other blends that they have are shot sizes. So what I use for my, for my son is a 20-gauge. Um, heavy shot, so it's their heavy, it's their business stuff, and it has four, fives, and sixes in it. So you get a blend of shot sizes uh, as well, as, as, as opposed to a blend of uh, material. So it, there, there's all kinds of options out there, and that's one of the reasons why we're starting to be able to use smaller gauges, because of the technology that's gone into the cartridges. Gotcha. All right. So if someone's wanting to order a, a 410, you got any recommendations on a couple? Well, it, again, it depends. It depends on your price point. That's usually the biggest one. Um, but what, what I would say is always just come in, um, talk to Kenny. Kenny will pull it up. We can look at all of our distributors. We can walk you through, hey, here's three. Which one do you like? The problem is, um, which is what we've had the last three years, two, 
three years is most of them are on back order. Okay. Well, um, they are becoming more popular. So it's, it's just the heart. So what we would do is we would take your name down, we would put it on back order. When it shows up six months from now, then we give you a call and say, hey, your gun's in. So if they ordered it now, they'd have it plenty of time by Christmas. Well, I certainly can't make that promise, but that would be our expectation, yes. Okay. All right. Well, that's, you know, I just, I just want them to know expectation wise because. I, like I said, it's not gonna. The rule's not gonna go into effect till next year anyway. So or July first. So it'll be for next season. But if you get out there and uh, you know sit down with you or Kenny or uh, Mike or whatever and yep. just yep. get it ordered, chances are you're gonna have it in by by Christmas. Yeah, you got it. You yeah. Got it. And then, wait, price point, Dave. What 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 would people look at? Can you give them like a like a budget? Oh yeah, you're you're in that two fifty to five hundred. Oh, that's that's cheap. Well, again, if you're talking a single shot, yeah, single shots are cheap. Yeah, and then and a, honestly, a lot of people for turkey, single shot is is perfectly adequate. What's a semi going to run? Oh, then you're talking closer to five hundred. Well, that's still reasonable. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, I mean that that over and under I traded in. Uh, I mean that was almost eight hundred, nine hundred bucks. Over and unders are very, very nice. Very did popular. you did you take that gun home? By the way. I did. My son's using it for trap right now. <laughs> uh, you told me you might take that home. I was just curious. That, that's a, that's a sweet gun, man. Yep, I had Walt. I had Walt work it up, so it's got a adjustable stock. Um, it's it's he's using it. He's using it. That's awesome. All right. Well, listen. I, I appreciate you coming on. I told you I'd only keep you fifteen minutes today because I know you're busy, but. Uh, if, if folks want to see more about JLM Shooter Supply on Facebook, how do they do that? Yep, so you can find us on Facebook, um, JLM Shooter Supply, but we're also at 70th and Douglas in Urbandale. Yep. Our number is 515-331-1577. And you got not one, but two gunsmiths working for you now. We do, yep, yep. Yep, so you got it going on. Dave, thanks, buddy. I'll see you when I get back from filming. All right, always good talking to you. Thank you, Dave. There, there he goes, Dave from JLM Shooter Supply. We'll be right back on 1350 ESPN. When you go big game hunting, do you go the extra step and try to stay undetected and lethal? Well, lethal products can help you do that every trip. It starts by washing your clothes with the... John just got him a nice Osceola. Look at that, down in Florida. Spurs up calls. The next step is taking a awesome, free bud. shower using lethal shampoo and body wash and deodorant. Then spraying down when you get to your hunting area. I don't know, Aaron. You need to call and ask him that one, buddy. I don't know the answer to that. Kenny, I have no idea about deer hunting. I doubt it. Lethal products also feature field bucket wipes that you can use to wipe down after walking into the tree on warmer days. Morning, Dr. TJ. Lethal products also provides protection from little pests like ticks and mosquitoes with their bug and tick repellent. Lethal products is a hunting system you can count on. For more information on Lethal Products, just go to LethalProducts.com. That's LethalProducts.com. Or Archery Field and Sports in Altoona. Lethal man, look at the hooks on that turkey. In the field. That's hey some guys, spurs right there, there man. When it comes to Woo! Food plot seed and deer That's feed, awesome. Mississippi-based Backwoods Attractions product. Y'all better be listening to Thunder and Daybreak on Monday on the Outdoor Call Radio app. That's John who hosts that. He knows he's shooting like birds like that. Sweet stuff and Buck Robert. The best way to put it is, if you're not using Backwoods Attraction products, you better hope your neighbor isn't. Thanks, Jay. I appreciate you, buddy. Backwoods Have a good day. Has the feed and seed perfect for your hunting property. So do yourself a favor and swing by and support your local company or farm supply store and ask for Backwoods Good morning, Jake. Congratulations on the baby. Jake Pike, they had a baby. Yeah. It takes two vaccines to help protect you this season, the flu and COVID-19. And now you can get both shots at the same visit. Learn more at cdc.gov slash vaccines. In the mood for a great family treat or a special gift idea, pop on over to the Lotta Pop store located at 647 South Ankeny Boulevard at Ankeny. That's where you'll find over 30 fresh flavors well, I, the most I bought seven bags of popcorn, popcorn here the other day. Central Iowa area. Hey, we remind me, uh, like we're giving away Lotta two big Lotta things Lotta of popcorn Lotta from Lotta Pop for Father's Day. Lotta Pop, Pop for Pop. 
You'll find something for everyone at Yeah, Lama write that down and don't let me forget about that. I need to pick that up in May. A lot of pop, popcorn for pop. You'll need it from ready to eat popcorn to all the fixings to make great popcorn at any event. Everyone loves popcorn, especially when it's from Lotta Pop. It's the same great popcorn you'll find at the Iowa State Games, locally grown and popped to perfection. Lotta Pop can help with any special occasion, corporate events, and special fundraising for your school. For more information, contact Lotta Pop at 515 262 3243. Or go online at Lot of Pop. Lot of Pop. Great tasting pop. Lot of Pop for Pop. We love Lot of Pop. Our dogs are part of the family and we want to protect them at all times. Do you live in an area oh, that you want to keep? Open? My poor dog. He's going to miss me. To protect your pet. He no sits there and calls. where's my dad? Where's my dad at? And then he's not going to get to see Andrew on Wednesday. He's really going to be a mess. Where's Andrew? It's Wednesday. But can also be set up to keep your pet out of areas in your home. The Pet Stop system is underground, keeping your property open and easy to maintain. Oh, Plus, man. with a friendly user app on your phone, you can customize well, the Well, I'll sleep good tonight. I ain't got no dog waking me up at 3 in the morning. And stay safe at the same time. For more information on how to protect your buddy and keep your home looking great, call 515-975-2190 or go online at PetStop.com. Pet Stop of Des Moines. Outdoors Dan recommended and Raven approved. Raven approved. We bow, chicka, bow, chicka, bow, mow. Back to the tri slick tricks. Slick tricks are one of the chicka, most chicka, accurate bow, and mow. deadliest broadheads on the market. No matter which slick trick model you choose, the Raptor trick, the Viper trick, the Magnum, the Wicked trick. I wish I had the money. I'd get, I, well, I would love to give a truck away. They all offer bone crushing. You think got the money to do it. If I had an extra 40 grand, I'd give a truck away. Why can't I hit the lottery? If I hit the lottery, I'd give away a truck every month. I gotta play. I guess I gotta start buying a ticket. The Raptor trick is going to be your favorite. Can't play. Bone splitting tip, two inch cutting well, I just I never win. So that's why I don't. I get tired of paying them, paying for nothing. I don't even get a dollar back. Well, it'd be nice though. I'd, I give away a truck every month for a year. That'd be a, that'd be such a great deal. I'd be buying billboards. The outdoor drive. With the outdoor call. All right, welcome. All right, welcome back to the Outdoor Call Radio with Outdoors Dan. Andrew's a little behind this morning. Yeah, I, I had to I had to do it twice. I had to start. Jake Pike and his family had a new addition this week. Congratulations to Jake and the family. I hope I'm glad everyone's safe and doing well. And blessings. That's awesome. Remember when Danny was Danny and Riley was born? That was a long time ago. Gosh, it goes fast. Now I got, now I just got Andrew. I got to raise. <laughs> funny. <Real> funny. <laughs> That's good. Funny. <laughs> Don't forget your Gatorade, Andrew. Take your Gatorade home with you. He does. He gets his little Gatorade and goes Why home. Not? Huh? Why not? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, if, if you have not won anything off this show in six months, why am I saying six months? Because I want somebody new to win. I want somebody that hasn't won in a long time. That's why. Because everybody deserves to be a winner. That's right. And most of you are winners. But I want to make sure somebody that hasn't won is a winner. So if you haven't won or if you haven't won in the last six months, 244-1350. 244-1350. It's going to be so stinking easy to win. You're going to be shocked how easy this is going to be. I'm going to give you a brand new pure crappie. Hat. Look at that hat. That, I, I'm, I almost, I almost, I really wanted to keep this hat for myself. This hat is so boss. Look at that hat. Is that not awesome? And you talk about crappie baits. Look at that. Black and chartreuse twi twister tails. And I got, uh, what's the other one? Green and chartreuse. These are paper mouth killing machines right here. You're going to be, you're going to be stacking a crappie. And not only stacking them in the live well, you're going to be looking snappy in your new pure crappie hat. Pure, uh, pure crappie. That's where it's at. So 244-1350, 244-1350. Just make sure you have one in the last six months, and we'll get you on here, and we'll make it easy. Easy. 
Say that again. Ah. <sighs> So, the rest of the Iowa turkey season. Season 1, April 11th through the 14th. April 11th through the 14th. Season 2 will be April 15th through the 19th. Season 3 will be April 20th through the 26th. And season 4 will be April 27th through May 15th. If you're if you're bow hunting, you get to hunt all four. How about that? Uh, you need a hunting license, age for 16 and older, a habitat fee, and a wild turkey license. So make sure you got all that. Buck. I like that. Let's go see what Buck is up to. Good morning, Hello Buck. There. Well, good morning, Dan. How you doing, Buck? Oh, not too bad. Just getting out and about and just happened to turn you on. I was a little late this morning. I'm sorry about that. Well, that's all right. You know, it's been a while since I've been turned on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we get to that point, ain't it? So <laughs> I get turned on when I see oatmeal. That's how bad my life's getting. I'm telling you. Okay. I'm getting old. Yeah, I know it. Yeah. I know the feeling. <laughs> is, that, is that apple cinnamon oatmeal? Oh! <laughs> I remember when I could broadcast and make sense. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, it was a good thing. Absolutely. All right. So, uh, Buck, you want to go for that pure crappie hat and some twister tails? I sure do. I like crappie fishing. All right. Well, now this is going to be so easy, and with a name like Buck, you got to know this. I hope so. Okay, Buck. What's a snort wheeze sound like? A what now? A snort wheeze. A snort wheeze. A white-tailed buck like. when he snort wheezes. What's it sound like? <laughs> like a whistle. Well, come on, keep doing it. You got to do a snort and then a wheeze. I'm trying. I just can't get the function right. <laughs> you now, you do deer hunt, right? Yes, I do. Okay, here we're gonna do this together. Okay. All right. Go. Here we go. Go. Shh, shh. And then go. Shh. All right. Now put it together. Shh, shh, shh. There you go. Ding, ding, ding. Good job, Buck. Thank you. You snort wheezed yourself to a fancy new pure crappie hat and some twister tails. My mouth is dry. I couldn't get it out. I better get some water. <laughs> That's all right, buddy. You send me some pictures when you get some crappie, man. You'll love these baits. They're made in the U.S. too. They're it's really nice. Awesome. Awesome. All right, Thank man. You. Hey, we'll call you back after the show. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Buck. Bye. There goes Buck. That was nice of Buck to turn me on this morning. That's all right. 826 and some change. Turkey hunters reminded new law allowing 410 becomes effective on July 1st. I know this is redundant, but I'm going to read it anyway. Iowa legislators recently passed a law requiring or allowing 410s as a legal method to take and hunt wild turkeys. The new law will be effective beginning July 1st, 2022. This is just a reminder to our hunters that our seasons and regulations are set up a year ahead. And like other regulation changes, we incorporate new laws in the upcoming season, says Todd Bishop, a fine young man right there, chief of wildlife and Iowa Department of Natural Resources. Laws passed by the Iowa legislature become effective July 1. And don't forget the Iowa turkey season begins April 8th. How about that? That's exciting. I'm excited. I know Andrew's excited. So it's All great. Right. Yeah. That's good. Already. Are you? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so here's what you want to do. So you're going to get out there. You're going to get your decoys out in the dark. One tip that I will tell you that's really, hey, hang on, hang on i got to see what Gary's up to. Hey, thanks, Gary. Gary's sp uh, spooling reels listening to the show. Appreciate that. Good morning, uh, Revelton Hank. Howdy. Howdy, Hank. I like Hank. Hank and Rob and Christy and all the gang down there at Revelton, they're good people. I like them down there. Uh, oh, did you, hey, did you see my, uh, April Fool's post? I did not know. I, I put a post on there. I, I, I can't, I can't remember, but I'll, uh, let me see if I can pull it up here real quick. I thought it was funny. I had a guy got mad at me because he thought I was serious. Um, I don't know how you would think this was serious, but it says, just got a new lease in Northeast Iowa. It's 2,500 acres and some of the densest timber around. The main reason I secured this lease is starting in June. I will be offering a five-day hunting package for the Northeast Grass Man. I'm attaching a pic of one that I saw scouting last week. I got a picture of the uh, Bigfoot 
in, in the woods with an arrow on it. Oh, I did see that. Yeah, did you? Yeah. Every person that. that books will receive a grass man call locator, which you can keep, a safety whistle, a can of skunk spray, lethal dirt spray to hide your scent, and a sack lunch will be provided every day. We will start hunting every day at 5 p.m. since they are nocturnal. We will start calling around 6 so we don't interrupt their dinner time. Got to be, you know, you got to be courteous. Uh, then we'll, so we will scout for possible bedding areas until 6.30. At 6.30, we will listen for whistles and start calling using the call locators hitting oak and cottonwood trees every 5 to 7 minutes. 7 to 9 p.m., we will venture by the Turkey River to see if we can catch them doing any night fishing. If you want to fish, you must have a current Iowa fishing permit. 10 p.m., we will have social hour. Hank, pay attention to this, Hank. <laughs> pay attention. 10 o'clock, we will have a social hour with Revelton Mulberry Myths at the Bigfoot Bar. Special thanks to Revelton Distillery. If we are lucky to locate and capture one, you will be included in all the social media and radio coverage. Packages start at $1,500 per person. I will require a $900 deposit to make sure I have enough spam, appetizers, special bologna and cheese sandwiches for each group. Book today. Don't miss out on an adventure of a lifetime. Remember, if it's out there, we might not find it. Outdoors Dan. I actually had a guy mad at me because he wanted to book. He thought I was serious. This was on April 1st. Yeah, that, that was as detailed as could possibly be, though. Well, I know. I wanted. I, I tried to make it where, I, you know, it's April Fool's Day, man. You got to have some fun. Oh, yeah. You know? I, I was going to put on there that my wife left me for the floor, her florist, but Jenny said, don't do that. I said, I said I won't do that. You know, <laughs> Hank, Hank says that's awesome. Awesome. Uh, but uh, anyway, I had I had like I had a lot of people laugh, thought it was funny, and then but that one guy he goes, I can't believe I wanted to book that hunt. I can't believe you're actually not doing that. And it's like okay, do I ask him to send me nine hundred dollars and take him out and see nothing? I can't live. With, <laughs> I can't do that. I can't live with myself doing that. Hey, people do it. I just can't do that, man. I guess I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do something different for April Fools next year. Yeah, something different. Yeah, do something different. I don't know. I put on. Remember two years ago when I said I was gonna retire? Yeah. And people, people were actually. They were. I had sponsors calling me up to cancel. Are you? If you're quitting, we're canceling. I said, I'm not kidding. It's April Fools. But you are kidding. No, I mean, I'm not. I'm not quitting. Okay. This is an April Fools joke. You're okay. Nobody's retiring. Yeah, you shouldn't do that again. Yeah, I, I'm not doing that one. It almost cost me some money. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, we're if you're not doing the show, we're not sponsoring it no more. Well, it's okay. And then, yeah, it's like, yeah, that was not probably the smartest thing I ever did. Yeah. You know, you got to have fun and you got to live life, right, man? You sure do. Live, live it up, man. Living it up. Good morning, John. Good to see you. Good to be the loca. <laughs> Aaron said that was a mean joke. It wasn't a mean joke. That was not mean. You got to be able to sell it. Yeah. It, it has to be, you know, it's a, otherwise it's like, oh, okay, yeah, it's just another April Fool's joke. And they brush it off. But this, when you dive in and get and I had pictures. Get hooked, yeah, I had pictures. Pictures tell, man. Pictures sell. They sure do. Yeah. Thought about doing like the Outdoors Dan calendar, swimsuit calendar, you know. But the last time I did something in the shower and put it on Facebook, Jenny almost, she about had a fit. <laughs> what are you doing? You, you remember when I did the uh, the lethal body spray? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, every I don't go into the woods until I take a lethal sent away shower. I want to stay protected before I hit the woods. She goes, what are you doing? I said, I'm working, honey. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you know, if you you got you can't take life too serious, man. You got to have a little fun with it. You know, she. I go, honey. No girl, no woman in her is gonna want to see me in a shower. She goes, you can't put that on social media. I said, hun, you're safe. Nobody wants me. <laughs> she goes, well, what does that say? I said, because they know I love you and you love me. Nobody cares. I wish I would have had a camo shower cap. It would have sold it better. Yeah. Well, next time. Yeah. Yeah, you got a next time opportunity, you know? Yeah. I, I, still, I, I do think that the calendar should have worked out. <laughs> oh, man. 
That's all right, Jake. That's all right. So uh, Brad says, I thought that was what the 4570 was for to go Bigfoot hunting. <laughs> No, it it was if it would have been a non a non lethal hunt. I mean, you gotta you can't you can't shoot Bigfoot. What? what yeah. They're not going to have any jerky commercials anymore. If Bigfoot's There's not around. There's got to be. Yeah, we got to keep the commerce going. Here. Absolutely. Eight thirty four and some change. Normally, it's about this time when we bring Smoke and Joe Smelter on, so he can say Carl Chevrolet has a really good deal going on right now. We got a lot of rebates. We got special incentives. We want your used car. We're giving top-notch trade-in values for your used vehicle at Carl Chevrolet. See, that's what Smelter would normally say, but since he's on vacation again, I don't know how he gets all this vacation time. Yeah, I don't know. Outsourcing. Has I, to do. I, I don't, man, I just don't get it. So anyway, so it's up to me again to say, if you're in the new mood for a, uh, a new vehicle, what'd I say? What'd I just say? I said mood, didn't I? <laughs> Andrew's over there laughing. If you're in a mood for a new truck or a new vehicle or just something newer for you, go over to Carl Chevrolet and go see what they have in their inventory. They did get a bunch of new trucks on. And uh, they got some special deals going on, special financing, and they'll take great care of you. They always do when I go in there. And uh, and just look for Smoke and Joe Smelter. He'll make you a great deal at Carl Chevrolet at The Rock off Oral Labor Road. If he's not there, his butler will be. Yeah, absolutely. All right, we got to run. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back on 1350 ESPN. Hi, this is your old friend Speedo. Good morning, Cheyenne. Good to see you. Wall Lake, Iowa. Just stop on over here. We've got a nice selection of new and used golf carts. We'll park <laughs> our units. We've got a nice selection of new onward cars. Oh, we'll that's funny. Some utility carts as well. We've got a number of pre-owned golf carts in all types of price ranges. Available with fancy That's funny, wheels, Jake. Stereo. We've got it here at Speeds Golf Carts. Let the folks at Speeds handle your golf cart needs. Check out our website. Yeah, Brad, you're going to have to catch him on Monday, bud. So it's time to refill the tank. Where are you going for a great meal that won't break the bank? Well, why not fill up at Central Standard Restaurant in Waukee? There's more than great burgers and handmade ice cream shakes waiting for you at Central Standard Restaurant. They specialize in great food like buttermilk fried chicken, My poor smoked pulled pork, grilled salmon, or an Iowa pork tenderloin. To name I just never will forget the Central look on her face. What are you doing? Sure I, I, I got my phone. And I got the shower curtain half open. And, and, and I'm sitting there. And I, I had, uh, like I had shorts on, so it was just my chest out, out you know? Amazing. Because what are you doing? Like I'm working, day. honey. I'm working. Strawberry I'm working here. Chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla are always available as well. Yeah. From large screen TVs and plenty of... She made me delete it. I had to delete it. You'll be relaxed and enjoying your time at the Central <laughs> Standard yeah. so much. It'll become one of your go-to places. Carry out is always right. available at Central I'll get a, I'll get a camo Standard shower cap and I'll redo it next year. In Waukee, Iowa. Just a short drive from anywhere. Central Standard Restaurant. The perfect place to fill your tank when you're hungry. Hey, that's awesome, Brad. Thank you for telling me that. Quick question: Are you a hunter? If you are, there's a group that I would like to introduce you to, and that's Hunting Works for Iowa. Hunting Works for Iowa is a statewide organization that is focused on not only what hunting is. I hear you, Cheyenne. State of Iowa. Did you know hunting in Iowa annually brings in huge? Now's a great time to start getting those food plots in, bud. You're right. Every year, so they can hunt here. That impacts restaurants, retail stores, gas stations, convenience stores, outfitters, and Larry Mack was out there doing that the other day. That leads to hundreds of millions of dollars in state taxes. He got that chicory and uh, clover in. Anti hunting groups are working hard every year to limit your ability to hunt here. I can't believe it's already April already. It's crazy. Businesses all now across the state to protect your rights. You if you want to learn That's what about I thought I said. Yeah. 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 I'm telling you, I'm losing it. Please go check I am absolutely losing my mind. <laughs> Uh, Are you getting ready for hunting season? Well, you've done your homework, and now the time is getting Joe close. <laughs> One thing after you've harvested that deer or wild As Joe would say. Where are you going to take it? Well, I have an answer. The Milo Locker in Milo, Iowa. Yeah, we haven't heard from Randy Munson in a while. What's, what's he up to? Locker animals for over 15 years. Daryl and Angie are the owners, and they take great pride in the fact that they get everyone's order the way the customer Where's Randy? You can have your deer, or moose, there you go, Tony. Even bear processed and hand wrapped, cut to your specifications. If you like tasty snacks, Daryl does a great job making snack sticks, summer sausage, and jerky with all sorts of cheese and spice combinations. 
They do a ton of deer. That's a great a. Hey, that's a good choice there, Cheyenne. Like it was their own. So if you get lucky this year and need a good locker, try the Milo Locker. Check them out today, or just give them a call at 641-942-6231. Yeah. CJ, if I did that, she'd divorce me. If I put that out there, she'd be telling me I, she'd be telling me I'm out there looking for a girlfriend. I, I can't do that. CJ goes, how about doing a meet your match single hunting trip next April Fool's? CJ says you should do a meet your match hunting single hunting trip next year for April Fool's. Jenny saw that, she divorced me. She'd be calling the lawyer. Yeah, no, thank you. Yeah. I like it. It's funny. I just, that would cost me some money. Oh, I know, CJ, but I'm just saying if I put that out there, I, I, I know, I know, kiddo, I know what you meant. It's just, I, Jenny saw that, I'd be in trouble. <laughs> and meet your man. I love it. That's great. Go to PureWhiteTail.com look them up on Facebook. If you love to hunt, join the Pure I thought about starting a dating, when I was single, OatGoats.com. Are you an old goat looking for a new love? Go to oldgoats.com. No goats. Before you left, you bet they are. The work shark knife and tool sharpener is designed to sharpen every well by using changeable. I'm done. I'm done. I'm I'm staying with her until I die. I told her she's stuck with me. Including curved and serrated knives. She goes, well, you might be not that long because I might just drop you in your track. The work sharp knife sharpener does this with precision angle. She go get that 4570 and put it to me. To ensure the proper 20 degree angle every time. What's the one thing guys are scared of when they when they know the wife is upset? Customer service is always a call away. So if you love the outdoors and depend on a sharp knife, consider checking out one of the work sharp knife sharpeners. Or the uh, there's a lot of battles I'm going to pick, and that's probably not one of them, buddy. Hey, honey, I want you to help me do this April Fool's thing. Meet your match. No. You're listening to the outdoor call radio. Not going to happen. CJ, it's a great idea. All right, welcome back to the outdoor call radio with Outdoors Dan. Hope everyone's having a great day. CJ. She could help officiate. CJ, CJ is trying to get me to do an, an April Fool's thing next year, and my wife, uh, no, no, not even gonna do that one. CJ, it's a great idea though. CJ, I will give you that. Yeah, but I don't know. I'll figure out something. So, and maybe I'll skip a year because if I keep doing it every year, people are gonna know I'm full. I'm full of BS. Barbecue sauce. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Speedy. 84 years old, man. 84 years young, in his case. Yeah. He's young. That boy, that, that guy's, a, he's, the, that old floppy hat and those khaki shorts, he's, just, he's like the Energizer Bunny, man. I swear, he's going to go all Benjamin Button on us. Yeah. Man. Yeah, that guy's something. I, I, I love that man. He's just a good guy. Yeah. Yeah. Couldn't ask for better. No. He's a good guy. Well, it's uh, it's turkey uh, turkey talk today. You know, crappies too cold to fish. There, I, actually, there's a bunch of people out there fishing. I'm getting, I'm getting fishing reports. They say the crappies, yeah, biting. They're picking up here and there. It's supposed to be nicer next week. It'll, I'd say wait, to, wait a couple days and go have fun. Fill up the freezer. Hey, you know, speaking of that, I got, I've been looking for freezers. Do you see how expensive freezers are now? Oh yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah, we we got ourselves a. Our, we got ourselves a chest freezer not too long ago. Not a big one, but yeah, yeah. No, that was way, way too much. I mean, it's up thirty percent. So, oh yeah. I mean, it's crazy. I, now I found some in stock, which you couldn't find any during the pandemic. They were gone. Yeah. I want to get an upright one because uh, it's just easier to get. Because if I get a moose, um, I'm going to need a new freezer. Oh yeah. Because I ain't going to have room in my other freezer. I have a freezer. You're not getting my moose. <laughs> For the twentieth time, if I get a moose, I'll give you I'll give you some, but you're not getting my moose. But I I, I mean it's it's like three hundred dollars more than what I was looking at last year for some of these freezers. It's ridiculous. It's crazy. I mean, what's what's up with this stuff, man? There you go, an outlandish. <laughs> 
now to uh, get down to cases. Yeah, C- CJ, where'd you get a Humphrey Bogart one at? Oh, well, that was yours. Is it? Did it, I? Where did, where, how did you get my uh, sound effects? This was all yours, custom wanted in here, put it in here. Yeah, it I did, I forgot I got Humphrey Bogart on here. Good day, sir. Yeah, that's yours. I wish you'd get rid of that. I hate that thing. That's as bad as that stupid uh, holy hole in the donut. Thing. Holy hole. Yeah, man. I hate that one too. Oh man, I could go a year without hearing that again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Cheyenne uh, said he caught the biggest crappie he's ever caught the other day. There you go, man. Ripping lips. Wrong, sir. No, wrong. it's not wrong. It's what he wrote. He wrote it right there. It was on Facebook Live. He caught the biggest crappie he ever got. So, so my daughter calls me the other day, and she tries to get the old man on April Fool's Day. And I said, I, I go, hi, hon, what you doing? She goes, dad, I'm not going to say what she said, because I, 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 but anyway, I go, really? She goes, are you upset? And I said, no, I'm not upset, honey, as long as you're happy. She goes, dad, it's a joke. I said, I know, honey. I know. <laughs> I know. You're just not fun, dad. I said, sweetheart, I'm fun. That wasn't funny. <laughs> well, fine. What's fun is funny. What's not funny is not funny. It's not yeah. funny. No. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Well, I'm telling you. Well, I don't know what else to talk about, man. You got 15 minutes. 15 it's minutes. there, black and white, clear as crystal. Gosh, would you get rid of the Willy Wonka stuff, man? <sighs> I don't know. So, uh, baseball's back. Iowa Cubs. Woo-hoo! Baseball's back. We're going to be doing an Iowa Cubs deal in July. Uh, I just talked to uh, Isaac out of Grizzly Coolers. We're going to be giving away a 60-quart cooler. We're giving away a brand-new Elite Bow. And uh, I believe a big gift card from Sportsman's Warehouse if you go to the outdoor day at the uh, iCubs. I think it's July 17th is the game. You can buy tickets and see what's going on there. But uh, I'm telling you, it's going to be a fun day. Larry Macma will be up there and... Uh, we're going to be doing, uh, we'll have some other stuff. There was something else I was going to be doing. Oh, uh, hunting work for Iowa was supposed to be sending a bunch of stuff in. And, uh, so we'll be giving, we'll have those giveaways. We had a lot of good giveaways last year. We just got rained out twice. So, but I don't know. I'm looking forward to that. July will be here before you know it. And then let's see, we got it. We're going to do a special father's day deal this year. A lot of pops going to give us some big old things of popcorn. We're going to do a lot of pop for pop. So we'll, uh, we'll give those away here probably at the end of May. And then for Mother's Day, I'm going to be giving away a, a $50 certificate from the Olive Tap just for mom. Yeah. So uh, so we got some good stuff coming up here in the next couple weeks. So, yes, sir. We had a caller call in uh, just questions about steel calls for turkeys. and Steel? Steel calls. Steel? Yes. What about steel calls? He just wanted to know what your thoughts were on steel calls. What if should you use them? Should you not? A steel call? Steel call for turkey. Is one of those glass ones? Okay, that's not steel. Well, that's what was that yeah. was asked. Yeah, I like a slate call. I like a glass call. And I like a ceramic call. All three of those are, are easy to run. I've got my spurs up call here. That's a glass call. I'm holding this up on Facebook right now. That's a wagon wheel design. Look at that call. Isn't that beautiful? And then on the other side, I've got slate. I like using my slate for contentment calls or softer calls. Uh, I don't have my glass roughed up because I'm, I'm actually giving this to my my, out, my buddy Donovan. But um, you, a, a glass call will let you really get out there um, in volume. Uh, it's really a lot louder than a slate. I like a slate call. Like if I'm just sitting there doing a cluck and a purr. I love a slate call. That's on a slate. And you can soft yell. You got turkeys out there 50, 60 yards. Just do you know some soft some soft yelps. Or do some clucks. Yeah, that's that's the beauty of that. A ceramic call is nice because you can get out there and uh, it's kind of a mix between both of them. But uh, those are my three favorite surfaces. Uh, a box call is easier to run. You can really crank out a windy day. Everybody should have a box call with them because as the woods get greener and get denser, 
you know, or on a real windy day, that box call is going to reach out there farther than any, or louder than any other call. So on a real windy day, that's what I would be cranking on. Um, but uh, a steel? You mean aluminum? Did they say aluminum? I'm I've, sure see, I've seen probably, aluminum calls. I'm probably sure that's where they're close to meaning. Yeah, but yeah, I haven't seen an aluminum call in a while, to be honest with you. It's been a while, but I mean, I've you know uh, a glass call with a ceramic or with a uh, a plastic striker, not a plastic striker, but a ceramic striker uh, or a carbon. Uh, if you got any kind of dew or moisture, if it's real, if it's wet out there in the in the woods, um, you know a slate call is really not going to work very well with the moisture. Well, you can flip that call over, use the glass and a carbon striker, and you're going to be able to articulate that call and uh, still run it with some moisture. So that's that's the nice thing. So hopefully that worked. What did you get a name? I uh, did not. Steve actually. Steve. Sorry. Well, thank you, Steve. Appreciate the appreciate the questions. Oh. And here we are. What we could do? Well, what are you, what? We're we're see. No, we didn't do no mailbag today. Yeah. So now I just have to go through the sound sound bar and see what we got. We're not going through the sound bar again. How many? Kill the rabbit. Kill the rabbit. Yeah, that poor rabbit. So are we all? We're not. Are we caught up on breaks? One more big one to take. Well, we better take that. We'll be right back and talk about the Wabbit when we come back here on 1350 ESPN. Hi, my name is Takia. And a I'm sorry, my head's already in Kansas. Bacon sandwich is. When I take a bite, it's I'm sitting here already thinking about my blind and how I want my chair. It's perfection. Oh, hey, decoy steaks. Start. we got to talk about decoy steaks when we come back. Decoy it's steaks. It melts in your mouth. So you know it's creamy, cheesy, and delicious. This gooey mac the makes Reverend. me cheese every time. <laughs> Order That's dinner fine, delivered on the Chick-fil-A app today. Delivery fee and other restrictions apply. Real guests paid for their testimonials. Yeah. Can you hear it? I'm going to get hate mail. Hey, did you want those Iowa tickets? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, um, all on the ice. And this year, nothing will stop them in the hunt for it all. Visit iowawild.com <laughs> for tickets today. Iowa Wild, the hunt is on. Hi, this is Dr. Don Gilbert from New Life Counseling Services with offices in West Des Moines and Ankeny, Iowa. I know things can be tough in the world today. I see it every day. People well, I can't do it. They're issues, offline. Parenting struggles, anxiety, depression, or folks just looking for a new direction or plan in their life. If you find yourself struggling and are looking for someone to help you oh, find answers to a better relationship, a marriage, or just helping with everyday stress, please consider calling me at New Life. We offer uh, you want to go April 13th, 19th, or 23rd. The layers of stress that can be harmful to your health, relationships, yeah. and your work. Uh, you're not going to be able to go to 13th because that's a Wednesday. Hey, if anybody wants Iowa Wild tickets that's watching me on Facebook Live right now, I've got April 13th. That's a Wednesday game. Uh, if you just message me right now that you want them and your email, I will I will give I'll send them to you right now. First one that wants them got them. April thirteenth, four seats. These are my seats, excellent seats. Uh, and it's uh, at seven p.m. start. If you want tickets, just message me. If you want the nineteenth? That's a Tuesday or twenty third of September. System, the Probo Cam and the AT5 Trail Camera have done it again. Introducing the new Pine Ridge Archery line of two hundred and fifty archery accessories that you will want to get on your bow. This new line includes stabilizers, peep sights, kisser buttons, and the new wrist sling. The wrist sling uh, is totally set now? free and is available in different colors, and this will allow you to tune it to your specific grip, so your hand goes right in the sling and without any hang-ups for smoother draws when you're getting ready to shoot your game. AJ, These new Nitro products AJ will have you shooting tighter groups with consistency before you know it. Included in these products are tons of colors so you can customize your bow for your favorite college teams like yeah. ever before. Did I mention all of these products are made in the USA at Pine Ridge Archery's yeah. factory in Illinois? That's right. Made in the USA of quality materials that will hold up in any weather conditions. AJ Brown, 13878 like at Outlook.com or anytime at pineridgearchery.com. Right. There's a place yeah. in Ankeny that's all about the outdoors, and that place is Sportsman's Warehouse. Da -da. Sportsman's Warehouse is da -da. here to provide all lines of hunting and da -da. fishing. Da -da. Da -da. prices around. Da -da. Da -da. Da -da. Da -da. Hey. Hey. There's 
Morning, Todd. Semper Fi, my friend. Semper Fi. Turkey. It's what's for dinner. Camping to boating to all the best clothes and footwear for the entire family. You'll find it at Nobody Sports wants Warehouse. tickets to the wild Warehouse April 13th. On going April once, April going twice. Ask about the seminar series going on every month as well. Sportsman's Warehouse in Anthony. Every spring. Why is that on there when we have the other one on the app? And the trick to getting that Tom is sweet as the sportsman's is just played. Have you ever heard of Spurs? We got we don't have him on the do we? Craft your perfect custom call on cherry, zebra, or walnut wood with an aluminum, slate, glass, or crystal surface. Our single wagon design has one friction service for those who want to look at that. While our double and many wagons are coming back, 30 seconds. Contentment calls in a split second. And size does matter when it comes to the sound you need. Our larger single and double wagon wheels have a deeper sound. While the mini wagon calls Man, out I could go for some bacon and eggs right now. A little wheat toast. Glass of orange juice. That sound good? Or some biscuits and gravy. Biscuits and gravy. Check out our calls. I like, me, I like me some biscuits and gravy. A little bacon on the side. This is the Outdoor Call Radio with Outdoors Dan on Des Moines Sports Leader. 1350 ESPN. Neighbors, as you go through your life, are you dealing with stress? We only got two minutes. Come on back. Has life on, given you bumpy gravy yeah. in your morning breakfast? There you go. If All right, serious, get rid of me not. there. So, Andrew has been wanting to play that, but we don't have time. All right, so, hey, real quick tip before we get out of here. On your decoy steaks, um, go out the night before or the day before and figure out what what your Jake and your two hens, where you want to put them, and put your steaks in the ground. Um, and then that way, when you're sneaking in in the morning, you don't have to worry about, you know, making sure that your, steak, your turkey decoys are in the right position to get a shot. I always do that every time I go out. That way, because well, I'm especially important for me because I'm trying to film. But if you get out there and just leave your steaks in the ground uh, when you get out in the morning, you can let, you know just take your decoys and slip them on the stake and climb in your blind. It'll save you a lot of time, and your your decoys will always be in the right position if you do that. Okay? Hey, that's my tip, and I'm out of here. We'll see you next week. Until uh, we're all in it together. Be good to one another, and uh, don't forget to go check out the Outdoor Call Radio app on iTunes, Google Play, or on Alexa. We'll see you next time. Gobble, gobble. Good morning, Kent. Hey, America, when you barbecue cookies. All right, everybody, I got to roll. You be good. Be safe out there. Send me some pics if you're out there hunting. And uh, I'll be doing some blind reports and uh, uh, let you know how things are going starting on Monday, okay? Be good and see you soon. Thanks, everybody.